Introduced to the market in 2015, the new Toyota Fortuner with its keen look design language was launched. But what if you're in the second hand car market for the previous generation? Where are they now? How are they faring? Let's go have a look, shall we? So today we've got two variants for you. This is the 2.5 manual. This is a 2010 model. Let's hear what it sounds like. Here we go. Okay, let's have a look inside, shall we? Hard wearing interiors. Everything looks and feels great. Electric windows still work perfectly. Electric mirrors. No damage to the seats whatsoever. They still look in very good condition. Right throughout this vehicle. So now we are in the 3 liter D4D automatic. Um, I can't tell you anything about this car that I don't like. Um, I've driven Hiluxes before. I've loved with them. And for its year, uh, which is 2010, and its kilometers, which is 325, Everything works. Um, everything works as the day that it was made. It is solid. It is Toyota reliability. Switch gear works perfectly. Power steering, air conditioning is ice cold. So I would definitely recommend if you are in the second hand market buying a Fortuner, um, definitely have a look at this uh, shape. You know, um, the 2.5 is obviously more fuel efficient. Um, the 3 liter just gives you that extra power. Um, but let's take it on the road. Uh, let's see how it goes through its gears and um, how it performs. So we're on the road with the Fortune Auto. Um, what can I say? It's solid. It's always awesome being in an SUV and you're a little bit elevated um, above traffic. I quite like that. Gears are going in as smooth as ever. For its year model and for its kilometers, to answer the question, should you buy a Fortuner? It's a big fat yes from me definitely all my vehicles are sponsored by qpms auto in autry um, please come and have a look the cars that i have shown you today are for sale this particular model is selling at 220,000. as i said with 325 kilometers on the clock it's loaded with extras there's climate control front and rear there's aircon in the rear it's a seven seater um, and as you can see it drives absolutely beautifully Thank you so much for watching my video. Please give a thumbs up and please share. Till next time.